it's Katrina. From marine species with strange human-like teeth to demonic-looking deep-sea creatures and insects that disguise themselves as dung, here are 10 very strange and creepy animals. Number 10. The Vampire Squid The vampire squid's scientific name, Vampyroteuthis infernalis, translates to the vampire squid from hell. It's neither a squid nor an octopus, however, but is classified in its own group. While the vampire squid reaches a maximum length of just 11 inches, it takes on an intimidating form when threatened by inverting its cape and displaying the underside of its arms, which are lined with large spines. Despite its demonic name and appearance, the vampire squid is rather harmless. It feeds on drifting particles of plant and animal matter called marine snow, which it captures using the sticky cells on its tentacles. It can't help that it looks scary. This opportunistic feeder is more likely to be targeted by predators than to be one. To scare them off, the vampire squid expels a bioluminous chemical that causes twinkling lights, or razzle-dazzle you could say, and confuses the hunter. It also produces light at the tip of its arms, which may serve as a form of communication between the species, particularly males and females, who must take advantage of rare mating opportunities. Scientists know little about the behavior of this deep-sea creature and hope to learn more through deep ocean exploration. Number 9. The Shoebill Stork Considered by some to be the world's most terrifying bird, the shoebill stork dwells in the swamps of tropical East Africa, including in South Sudan and Uganda. This 5-foot-tall, wide-billed bird lives up to its terrifying reputation by feeding on large fish such as lungfish, eels, and catfish, as well as Nile monitor lizards, snakes, and even baby crocodiles. It remains as still as a statue while waiting for prey to come along, then swoops forward and snatches the animal up. Using the sharp edges of its massive bill, the shoebill stork then decapitates and swallows its prey. The shoebill stork is mostly silent, but can be loud when it wants to be by making a deafening, machine-gun-like noise known as bill plattering. This typically occurs near the nest or when greeting another bird. In addition to these eccentric qualities, the shoebill stork regulates its body temperature by defecating on its own legs. The liquid waste is evaporated by the heat running through the bird's legs, cooling its blood temperature. Do you think this bird deserves the title of creepiest bird in the world? Let me know in the comments! Number 8. The Hatchetfish The ghoulish, tortured-looking hatchetfish is named after its shape. There are around 40 known species of hatchetfish, ranging in length from 2.8 to 12 centimeters. They're pretty small, but the gaping, seemingly vacant gaze of their large eyes, coupled with a diabolical frown, is enough to scare almost anyone. However disturbing, the hatchetfish's eyes are useful, enabling it to see up close or far away. To avoid detection by predators, the hatchetfish uses its bioluminescent capabilities to make itself indistinguishable from its surroundings. This is done using a series of small, light-emitting organs called photophores, located on the underside of its belly. The photophores perfectly imitate the color and intensity of the light around the creature, essentially making them invisible to predators. The hatchetfish can disguise itself at various depths using this technique, which is called bioluminescent counter-illumination. It's one of the strongest and most effective camouflages throughout the marine world, and is relatively common among deep-sea species. Number 7. The Purple Frog In 2017, scientists in India's West Ghats mountain range discovered a new species of frog with shiny purple skin and a pig nose. They called it the Bhupathi's purple frog in honor of respected herpetologist Dr. Subramaniam Bhupathi. The odd amphibian has evolution to thank for its long snout, small eyes, and short, spade-equipped limbs. It spends almost its entire life underground, feeding on ants and termites with its long, fluted tongue. Purple frogs go underground after spending roughly 120 days as tadpoles. After that, they only come out during the monsoon slash mating season. Bupathi's purple frog is closely related to another species in the region, which was discovered in 2003. The two are the only known members of their family, as evidenced by the Indian government's ongoing effort to sample the DNA of all of the nation's toads and frogs. This frog lineage is very ancient and has a very low diversity, so this finding is very special and unusual, said herpetologist Elizabeth Prendini to National Geographic in 2017. 
The closest relative to the two species of purple frog lives in the Seychelles. Scientists know little about frogs in general, including how many species there are. Every year, over 100 new frog species are described in scientific journals, which goes to show just how many species we still don't know about yet. Number 6. The Arapaima Also called the Paiche or the Piraruku, the Arapaima is a freshwater fish native to the Amazon River Basin in Peru, Brazil, and Guiana. It may be the world's largest freshwater fish, measuring up to 10 feet long and weighing as much as 440 pounds. With a streamlined body, long dorsal fin, bony head, and upturned mouth, the arapaima is paradoxically massive, yet stumpy. Also called the dinosaur fish, this is one of the oldest fish on the planet. It has remained unchanged for the past 23 million years. The arapaima typically lives in slow-moving, oxygen-deficient rivers. It comes up to breathe air, enabling it to survive in waters with low oxygen levels that cannot accommodate most other fish, and can remain underwater for 10 to 20 minutes at a time, but typically remains near the surface, where it hunts and emerges to breathe. Scientists are trying to raise awareness for the animals of the Amazon River. Since they're not cute and cuddly, they don't get as much attention and they are starting to slowly disappear. Number 5. The Fangtooth Moray Eel The Fangtooth Moray Eel is named after its elongated mouthful of semi-transparent, glass-like teeth. It's also sometimes known as the Tiger Moray Eel due to its yellow and black coloration. The eel's fang-like teeth are arranged in two rows. The outer row consists of large teeth measuring up to an inch long, which are separated by smaller teeth. Sharp, small teeth line the back row and facilitate the species' diet of crustaceans. Despite its fearsome appearance, the fangtooth moray is not a threat to humans. It has a nasty bite, but typically only chomps on someone when it feels provoked or startled. So as long as you don't reach your hand into a dark cave while you're diving or something, you should be okay. Number 4. The Paku Fish the paku fish is related to the piranha and dwells primarily in the Amazon and other South American rivers. It can grow up to several feet long and is best known for its eerily human-like teeth. These blunt molars are used for grinding plants and cracking nuts. There are many species of paku fish ranging from 2 to 90 pounds and measuring up to 40 inches long. However, even the biggest specimens are non-aggressive, although paku fish will bite a human if they mistake the person for food. One widespread myth claims that the paku fish is notorious for biting off men's testicles. Apparently, there is no credibility behind this belief as experts across the board agree that paku fish are generally not harmful to humans or most other living creatures. Although they'll occasionally snack on small fish, paku fish generally stick to eating fruits, nuts, and seeds. Although I guess you'd have to go ask men fishing in the Amazon on a daily basis and see what they say. Number 3. The Bird Dung Crab Spider the bird dung crab spider's appearance is what it sounds like. Not only does this creature look like a pile of you-know-what, it supposedly also smells like it. The bird dung crab spider fools predators and possibly prey by sitting motionless with its legs drawn to its body resembling bird droppings in size, shape, color, and odor. The spider's glossy body adds the finishing touch of making it look like wet, freshly deposited feces. This convincing disguise is reinforced by the rough edges on the legs and nodules on the body. Sometimes the spider even uses its own silk to fake the splashed appearance of bird droppings. Birds have good eyesight, and this clever disguise prevents them from going after the bird dung crab spider. After all, who'd want to eat their own droppings? The foul smell the spider emits in its cloaked form deters predators and may attract prey, according to a 2015 study by researchers from the Hubei University in China. Mimicking bird poop is not as unique as it may seem. Various other species, including black and yellow Asian swallowtail butterfly caterpillars and the orb weaver spider, camouflage themselves as avian feces. Number 2. The Humpback Anglerfish The humpback anglerfish is a bioluminescent deep-sea species known for its terrifyingly angry face, earning it a reputation as one of the world's ugliest creatures. The anglerfish was discovered in 1833. Most of what scientists have learned since then has been from dead or dying specimens that were pulled from nets. Until recently, researchers knew very little about the homely creature's lifestyle. This is slowly changing thanks to the advancement of deep sea exploration. The anglerfish's hunting style is just as intimidating as its appearance. It will wait for a little fishy to come by and create suction by opening its large mouth, pulling the unfortunate victim inside. Then, small teeth deliver the meal to the creature's stomach. The humpback anglerfish is part of the warty black sea devil family and among the largest of the anglerfish. 
While most anglerfish are about the size of a fist, a female humpback anglerfish is two and a half feet long on average. The creature's nightmarish appearance can be attributed to evolutionary features, according to deep sea ecologist Bruce Robeson of the Monterey Bay Aquarium Research Institute. He further explained that in addition to being equipped for surviving the cold, dark environment of the deep sea, the anglerfish is built for ambushing its prey. The limited food sources in its habitat sometimes means going months without eating, and the animal's huge mouth helps it take in as much food as possible. Number 1. Promacoteuthis sulcus This is a species of squid possessing what looks like a set of strange, human-like dentures on its bottom side. This bizarre tooth-like arrangement is actually a set of folded lips that cover the creature's beak. Each arm is equipped with three rows of suckers. Only one specimen of the squid has ever been captured and identified. It was found 6,000 feet below the surface of the Southern Atlantic Ocean in 2007 by a German research vessel. The specimen was a young female measuring one inch long. Therefore, nobody knows whether these freakish-looking squids grow to be massive or if they stay small. Little else can be said about P. sulcus because not much more is known about it. You'll have to wait and find out. Thanks for watching! Which animal did you think was the creepiest? Would you like to see any of these in real life? Or have you? Let me know in the comments below! Remember to subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you soon! Bye!